Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Greg, I'm lead developer of Icarus Studio and I created the Complete Physics Platformer Kit. Just want to make this real quick video, show you how to get it set up and how easy it is to like make a platformer from scratch using the scripts within this kit. Um, let's start with a bit of sales talk. It's got 80 reviews, 5 stars, number one paid kit in the asset store, two demos that you can play, and 25 bucks, it's a bargain. Alright, here we go. We got a blank project here, and all I've done is import the asset. So let's go into scenes. You've got the 3D demo, that's the one you've played, and the 2D demo, it's also up. You can play those there. And everything is included. You've also got a third scene here called simple demo and this is great because you know if you've just bought a kit and you just want to jump in you don't want to see a really complicated scene like this is the 3d scene there's quite a lot here because there's a lot to play around with but if you just look in the simple demo scene this is kind of like distilling the package down to its simplest elements so you've got the player the camera um, there's a goal to get to there's a pushable crate, there's a crate you can pick up and throw, a moving platform, a coin, there's an enemy, uh, that's an area of water, there's a hazard, and if you're wondering what these spheres are, if you have a moving platform, let's open up its children in the inspector. Those are the two waypoints. These spheres will show in the scene, but they won't show in game. Yeah, it's just so you can see where the platform's going to move to. Uh, okay, so how do we get this set up? Well, if you go in here, the main folder, you got a guidebook. So let's have a look at it. So having a sip of tea. All right, here you go. You got the guidebook. It's really nicely laid out. It's really easy to read. And um, let's go set up. We've got three things to do: change the gravity to minus twenty-five. That's because Unity's default gravity, it's a little bit too floaty for a platformer, in my opinion. And um, number two, you've got to add a grab button and a cam horizontal axis. That's so you can pick up and throw objects, you can pull them around, and obviously that's so you can rotate the camera. I don't know why I've got two of these open. Alright, so let's do that. Let's change the physics. Actually, let me just show you. You can just import the kit hit play and you can play it but of course the camera stopped and if I hit jump wow that's quite a big jump it looks like it's in space so let's change the gravity to minus 25 you don't need to set the gravity to that you can have it whatever you like and when you go into the player you've got tons of options this is the player move script um, you've got loads of options for the jump height and friction, slope limits, acceleration, sounds, pretty much anything you could want to change, it's right there for you to play with. Alright, so we change the gravity, and now we need to add the input. So we've got two to add. We've got a grab button. Let's make this the J key. And we've got um, an axis. Cam horizontal. Let's make this the E and Q buttons. And I'm going to change this to 5 on the gravity and sensitivity. Uh, gravity and sensitivity, if you don't know, is basically how quickly the button um, takes effect. So if I press down a camera rotation button, I don't want it to immediately snap into action. You know. Oh, also, when we just played it, it's given us two errors. This whole kit, no matter what you do with it, like if you're dropping scripts on, it's going to tell you exactly what it's doing in the console. It's going to tell you what you need to do if anything's wrong. For the most part, it completely, it automatically sets uh, sets itself up. So you know we need to add those, and we've done that. So if we hit play now, boom! You've got your platformer. You can run this dude around. He can jump. You can uh, pull this box around. 
Here's one that you can pick up and throw. I think it's got health attached to it, so it takes impact damage, and then it breaks. You got a coin, and you got a moving platform. And obviously, the beauty of this kit is um, everything is so dynamic, and it just works immediately. So here we got a box. Let's disable the health script so it won't break, and let's just duplicate. So we got two now, and obviously because it's all rigid body physics. That's getting pushed by the platform. Oh, it's gone. And you know, if we put that there and then quickly go jump on it. Yeah, it's all working. Very dynamic. I mean I can even grab this water and I can create a little pool if I wanted to. I mean, what if you had a setup where this platform pushed this crate into the water? That's quite strange. But. Anyway, you can mess around.